Hello, welcome back to Pharma Training Solutions. Today I'll be again briefly explaining uh, pharmacokinetics. This is one of the branches of pharmacology. Now, pharmacokinetics is a study of what the body does to the drug and deals with uh, the roots of drug administration, absorption, hmm, distribution, uh, uh, metabolism, and excretion. Now, ensure you know the roots of drug administration, which I can't go through. Have the entero, parentero, inhalation, or topical. You can search about these ones. I'm sure you can get information. It's simple. The advantages of each and what is what, what is the, sex, uh, the selection criteria for each drug uh, of administration. Huh? And what time the dose of the drug we give a patient. So these are, these are, these are uh, uh, things that you can know. Pharmacokinetics is a study of what the body does to the drug and this with the roots of drug administration, absorption, administration, metabolism, and excretion, or what we call bio transformation. The roots of drug administration have entero, paos via the mouth, mm -hmm. parentero, inhalation, and topical. Show you know examples of each. And which uh, how do we select the 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 date of drug administration to, to the to use and which are the factors that determine the dose to, of a drug to give to a patient now abs absorption of drugs absorption or travel of drug uh, uh, drug molecule from the site of of, uh, of administration so the DIT to the to the site of action now of course we know that we give a drug in the G, mostly in the JIT but it has it affects some other parts so how the drug travels from how how how, the, how does the drug travel from the JIT to to the set of, of action? It is through absorption and the methods which are which which are used. We have um, diffusion, aqueous or lipid diffusion, uh, active transport, facility diffusion, and exocytosis and endocytosis. The lipid diffusion here we're talking about henderson hasselbach equation, where we are meaning that only an ionized medication will pass through. The GIT membrane, and after that, it will be trapped when it reaches a new a new pH. It becomes trapped. So I'm sure you can you know how to explain all these ones in detail. Which methods affect ab absorption of drugs? One is the molecular size, lipid solubility, pH, dosage form, concentration of the drug, blood flow to the area, area of absorption, GIT motility. Imagine uh, you are giving a, a, a tablet to someone who is diuretic. You want to give him time for a drug to be absorbed. Uh, that's why uh, if um, if if a patient is is vomiting, we either use intravenous or we use use the the rectum for administration. Now, drug binding to other molecules. For example, we know that uh, uh, drugs can uh, tetracycline can bind with calcium, affecting the absorption the structure of drug in the GIT that's why some drugs are given per what per, per subcutaneous such as uh, insulin and all others now by availability this is the rate and extent to which the adimside drug reaches the systemic saturation or the fraction of the unchanged drug reaching the systemic saturation following adimension by any route of course we know the by availability it is that curve which you have to know I'm sure you know it we know that uh, we are, if you are giving a drug per IV, we have 100% by availability because all the drug will reach the system saturation. But in other route, we may have less than 100%. Why? Mostly because of first pass effect. This is a term used for hepatic metabolism of a drug when it is absorbed from the, G, from the gut and the liver to the, to the liver via the post saturation prior to entering into the system saturation. Uh, are you getting it now? You remember, the drug can be metabolized before it reaches, before it reaches the system saturation. And most of the drugs are given in the in the in the in the GIT can affect can have this pass pass effect. They can be metabolized only a certain percentage may reach the drug, maybe eighty percent. So they are administered concurrently. Now, how do we prevent a fast pass effect by using IV suppositories? Or sublingual and transdermal absorption can 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 be used to prevent 
uh, first pass effect. Distribution of drugs. Of course, uh, distribution this is the process of transferring a drug from the bloodstream to the tissues or the site of drug action. <clears throat> this depends on tissue permeability, eh? physiological or main barriers, eh? cell membranes. Now, the barriers around the cell membranes, the blood brain barrier, the placenta, the testis barrier. Now, all these ones, you have to know them. Organ. Of course, we know organ cells and perfusion because we know that highly perfused drugs and those which are large, which have um, large mass have more the drug usually concentrated there. Mm? Uh, the kidney, the liver, the kidney, the adrenals, and and uh, this. Now, protein binding. Of course, we know that protein binding can affect distribution of drug proteins, which are which are mostly bind the drug. We have albumin, the common one, lipoproteins, like globulins, and all this one. And of course, the degree of ionization can also affect. Distribution. Now, I hope I'm clear. Because this is a short presentation on distribution of drugs, but this is this this again can be another topic, or another presentation, uh, which we can make for 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 anyone who wishes. So, but I'm sure you are aware of all these and have these notes with you. Now, of course, the applied volume of distribution uh, is used to predict how drug is distributed throughout the body. As I keep saying, this is a short presentation. Ensure you are aware of these factors in details and how to explain them. Now, metabolism of the drug, or what you call biotransformation. Of course, this is the chemical alteration of a drug in the body that converts the non-polar or lipid soluble component into polar. Of course, why polar? So that they can easily be excreted within with urine. And may lead to termination of the effect of activity or Activation of the met or production of active metabolites. We know that some drugs produce active metabolites, and again, some drugs are pro drugs. Hence, they have to be metabolized within the body to become active. I hope you are aware of this. So, metabolism can lead to termination of activity, or it can lead to production of metabolites, active metabolites, or activation of the pro drugs. Now, this may occur in the liver, the principal organ, others, GIT, lungs, kidneys, brain also can take part in. Drug metabolism. Metabolism. Now, reductions are either phase one or phase two. Now, in phase one, this is a convert the parent drug into more polar metabolite by introducing a functional group such as OH, NH, SH, forming inactive or less active or enhanced active metabolites, and this is usually by the cytochrome P450 enzyme. E Example of reduction include oxidation or by this. There are those extension which are by, uh, by cytochrome P450, or there are those which are independent of independent of cytochrome P450. We have reduction and hydrolysis, uh, hydrolysis uh, reactions. Now, the first two these are involved in coupling or in conjugating with uh, a phase one metabolites, of course, by with, end, with the endogenous substances. Now, they involve coupling or conjugation of phase one metabolites with endogenous substances, forming they are conjugates such as uh, we can have the gluconeridation, acetylation, sulfation, methylation, and many, many others. Remember, this is also a topic of its own eh, metabolism of drugs, but this is just a short presentation. Of course, after metabolism, we go to excretion. Hmm? Excretion. Now, of course, actually, it's a process uh, where the metabolites or the drug are transferred from the internal to the external environment. Drugs are either excreted, unchanged, or as inactive metabolite. The kidney, hmm, the, 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 the kidneys, it must take it takes place in the kidneys, uh, is the principal organ of excretion. However, you can also excrete drugs from the pulmonary, especially those guys who take alcohol, you can always uh, get the uh, if, if, biliary, now biliary, also can can work as in the biliary system, salivary and the mammalian gland. That's why even some drugs are contraindicated in breastfeeding mothers. Now, um, renal, of course, uh, by renal we have in glomerular filtration, active tubular secretion. Now, with active tubular secretion, because we are saying that some drugs are excreted uh, unchanged, eh? such as penicillin. Of course, we know that after taking penicillin, we go to urinate. You, you feel that 
that that smell of penicillin. Now, ninety percent of drug of penicillin is, is excreted and changed by tubular active secretion. Now we have a drug called prebenicid, which can inhibit that uh, that uh, this active secretion of penicillin. Hence, uh, retaining a quantity, a certain quantity of of penicillin within the within the body, and this reduces the administration. Parties. If you are giving penicillin, for example, three times a day or four times a day, if you give it with probenicid, which is a bit tubular secretion, you can you can give it now maybe twice a day. Uh, factors affecting uh, uh, factors affecting renal renal. This was supposed to be factors affecting renal 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 excretion. Now protein binding, of course, you know, the drug which which is bound to the protein cannot be. Excreted because it can't pass through the glomerular. The glomerulus. Uh, pH of the urine, of course, we know product can be hmm? uh, can be ionized or unionized. pH of the urine. Uh, blood flow, disease, state of the kidneys. Now, in the BDL, we have the most of the contraceptives. We you know most contraceptives. Those are which are given uh, at least for three months. But how how do we maintain activity for three months? It's just a cycle within the biliary, the entero, it's called the entero something cycle. The drug is absorbed, it reaches the, 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 the biliary, it is secreted within the DIT, again it's reabsorbed. Um, the clearance is the hypothetical volume of body fluids containing the drug from which the drug is removed or cleared completely in a specific period of time. This is the formula. Of course, we can have uh, first order and zero order kinetics. Clearance is initial rate of a plasma concentration. Remember, I keep saying this is a short presentation on pharmacokinetics. I'm sure you have more notes, or you can contact us for more information, or books are there, even the apps you have on your phone. These are the other presentation, presentation which we have in, the pharma, in, the, in pharmacology and very many others. I always remain Wilson from M Pharma Training Solutions. You can always contact us for more information via that WhatsApp and email. Leave a comment, subscribe, because I subscribe. And thank you very much.